from a distance, it's an interesting sight. A U.S. Senator walking the roads of Connecticut. I had to take last year off because of the pandemic, but I had done four walks every year before then. It's my favorite week of the year. This is the fifth year. Chris Murphy isn't on the campaign trail. He's on Harrington Road in Broadbrook, where from Enfield to Guilford, his walk across Connecticut has just begun. I spent about four, five, six days just walking the state and talking to people. It's really amazing. You meet people that never call your office, right? People who don't pay attention to politics, but you know, people who have real problems and real opinions. And it's just a nice exercise to kind of ground yourself in what really matters. Walking and talking. The objective, the senator says, is to go grassroots and perhaps bring some residents' concerns to Washington. Just walking down this road, you know, met a police officer who didn't love the police accountability bill, you know, was real calm and rational about it, but wanted to talk to me about how it's affected policing, right? Wanted me to know how his life is like today differently on the job than it was two years ago. So this year, what does Senator Murphy expect down the road? I'm sure we'll be talking about vaccines and mask mandates and, you know, a lot of the things that, you know, right now are driving people crazy. With about 50 more miles to go, Murphy says this is just another avenue to get valuable feedback. Senator, how does this all benefit you year after year doing this? It just makes me more certain that I actually know what matters in Connecticut, that I'm not just listening to the people that call the office and write me emails, that I'm actually listening organically to people here in the state. The stuff that matters to people is how much money are they making? Can they afford college for their kids? Or do they feel like their kids are getting a good education? That's the stuff that comes up on the walk day to day. In Broadbrook, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.